Today, we expect to find out if Luis Casado will take the stand in his own stand your ground defense hearing. Casado is facing a manslaughter charge in the shooting death of Adam Amoya after a confrontation outside of a St. Augustine bar last year. But Casado's attorney says the charge should be dropped because his client acted in self-defense. News for Jax reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now live from the St. John's County Courthouse this morning. And Ashley, Casado's attorney has one last witness to call. He does. Jen and Vic, good morning to you both. And that last person could end up being Louis Casado himself. We're going to find out for sure when court resumes here in St. John's County in just about an hour, just under an hour, I should say. But yesterday, several witnesses, including a use of force expert, testified about the body language and also human factors that were captured on that key piece of evidence that is the surveillance footage. Dr. Roy Bedard said the threat began with a group of men appearing to be focused on Casado. If there's bullying going on, how does, does that fit into the equation at all? Sure. I think bullying behavior doesn't end in middle school. Bullies tend to pick on weak individuals or weaker individuals, someone that they think that they, um, they can handle. And so this could be going on here. Now, during the cross-examination, prosecutors pointed out that no one knows for sure what Casado thought of the men. Now, in that video, you could see that things escalated. Then Amoya was seen hitting Casado several times. Then Casado pulled out his gun and shoots Amoya, even after he is seen on that video footage running away. Do you believe in your professional opinion that Mr. Casado uh, should have been able to determine that there was a turn and stop firing? No. Do people sometimes shoot others when the threat is turning away? Happens all the time. The mind doesn't have the ability to quickly understand it is no longer a threat. And a plastic surgeon who treated Louis Casado also testified in cuts and bruises he received during that incident, actually saying on the stand that they could have been much worse. And that hearing is expected to wrap up today. It does resume in a little less than an hour right here around 9 o'clock in St. John's County, where we're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.